Hi guys, today I have a quick DIY for how to make a Pokeball Halloween candy bucket. First I took one of the little pumpkin buckets that you could get at Walmart for under a dollar and I'm using a little scratch pad to scratch off some of the black. This step's probably 100% optional. This is going to be the back of the bucket anyways and it probably won't matter but I did it anyways. And I made sure I dried it completely. Then I took some painter's tape and added a little bit to the bottom of the handle. Made sure it wasn't touching the bucket because I don't want any of the paint to be removed when we take off the tape. And then I added some to the center of the bucket. So I did this using about three strips just to kind of make sure it was as even as possible instead of doing one long piece and dragging it around the whole thing. Next I started painting the bottom half of the bucket white. I started using a brush, but then later on you'll see I switched to a foam brush. I felt it got better coverage and helped get the paint in the crevices. So this is what it looked like after the first coat of paint. Then I also noticed that I forgot to sketch out the center of the Pokeball. So you could take anything round. I'm using this little pencil holder, but I'm sure a glass cup would work perfect. So you're going to use the bigger part to sketch out the big circle, then you're going to flip it over and use the smaller part to do the inner part of the circle. And then I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and remove that strip of tape that's in the middle because that will need to be painted white as well. And I also went over it with a Sharpie after I sketched out with a pencil just to make the lines a little bit darker and easier to see. So once you have that part done, you can resume your painting. And with this paint, it's just acrylic paint that I found at Walmart. It's an indoor-outdoor kind, and it says it dries quick, but the instructions say to let each coat dry an hour in between, so that's what I did. So here I am adding the center. And then I'm going to let it dry really well and add several more coats. So here I am adding the second coat. I think in total I ended up adding about five coats of paint. And if you use the brush to kind of press down along the seam, it helps get nice crisp lines. This is coat number two, coat number three. As you can see, it's getting better, but you can still kind of see a little bit of the orange. So this is coat number four, which is pretty good. I probably could have stopped here, but I decided to do another coat. So this is coat number five. So once you're done with that, you can start with the top part. So here I am using red paint. The color is called Real Red by Apple Barrel acrylic paint. And this only took about three coats of red. So here's the first coat. The second coat. And finally adding the third coat. And then I'm going to let that completely dry. Next is the fun part of removing the tape. I did notice in some spots where there was a lot of paint, it did kind of pull up a little bit, so I just used an X-Acto knife to kind of trace around the tape to help release it better. If any of the paint lifted up, I was able to press it down and it would stick back to the pumpkin, so no worries there. As you can see, I just pressed it down and it stuck. So now the fun part is doing the black line and the circle that goes around it. So I, again, I took my little Sharpie and retraced those lines since the white covered it. And then I started painting it black. It only took about two coats of the black paint since it's such a dark pigment. And it's starting to take form. I was real excited at this point. It's starting to look like a Pokeball. Now there is like a 
in some pictures of the Pokeball, like another very, very thin ring in the center of it to help it make it look more like a button. But I wasn't too concerned about that, so I just left it how it is. And this is how it turned out. So excited. You can also use um, like a sealant. I have some acrylic like clear spray paint gloss that you can spray on that just to protect it from getting scratched. But if you're only using this for Halloween, it's probably not a big concern, but that is optional. And here is the spray that I used. So thank you so much for watching. We are going as Ash and Misty for Halloween, my son and I. So we might have some more DIYs coming your way. I might be making his shirt and other things. So please subscribe and stay tuned. Bye guys.